Well, thank you so much, Lucas. I just want to say I'm a huge fan of Weights and Biases. I've been using it since 2016, 2017, and I've recommended it to like hundreds of my friends, and I'm pretty honored to be on the podcast. That's so nice of you to say. I mean, can I ask just one last question? What do you, what do you like about it? I like that it is seamless and it always works and it's stupid proof. It's just like, <laughs> I know all I have to do is just put a one read at log and it, it goes somewhere into the internet. I don't need to think about or run my server and my server broke in the night. Like I don't need to cognitively think about a whole set of machinery in a way that wasn't true before rates and biases, in my opinion. Like there were other software as well, but they broke in somewhere or the other. TensorBoard, okay, you have to go run a local server thing somewhere and then like open it. And practically like you need tunneling because you, you, you it's running on it's your server different. that you might not have direct access to or whatever. And there's other kinds of products that were like, yeah, this is great, this is seamless, except you have to create an enterprise account for which you have to call our customer service agent and convince us that you're like a user that who will pay us money. So there are many ways in which it was frictious and not intuitive. Like others was like the API was clunky and hard to use and stuff. I think you you just, solved it in a way that is just seamless and it just seems to work. And it seems like you thought about the problem by the parallel plots and like a few few other ways. You, you did think about the problem well in a way that felt like someone like me as a machine learning researcher knows I have everything I need from your product. So that's, that's my, my take.